All right, so what are we going for today? Today's squad outfit. It's gonna be the night combat with either this, this, or this. I'm kind of thinking the navy. Or this bad boy, where you can't go wrong with the black. Decisions, only time will tell. Yo, so for once I'm not starting a video with like my hair looking all shitty and wearing my filthy dressing gown So yo, a bit of a fresher approach today, but uh, I'm just about to go hit some squats having a big old squat session today And uh, you know, I've been like warming up so much like for ages before squats and it's been really improving my sessions in general so i'm going to show you all that today you know take you along with me and uh, maybe show you a meal or two whatever let's just bang out this vlog but i was right i catch you in the gym also before we go does anyone ever do this they put like a bottle of water in the freezer for an hour so it's like it's got ice cubes in it. Just a little random lip tip that I like do every day. It's just nice to have some ice cold water whenever you wake up or when you're in the gym. All right, so I decided to do a commentary. I haven't done one in a long time, man. I actually really like doing them, so let's get straight into it. Uh, I like to start off with some spinal rotation, get my lower back nice and warm. Uh, you should try and keep your hands on the ground, but I've actually noticed that I'm not doing that. Uh, so that's the great thing about recording yourself. You always kind of learn a bit. And same again, just lying on your front. Uh, you can really feel this in your quads, hip flexors, even in your core. And then uh, extend your legs and continue warming up your back. Uh, I always start off with these three movements. After that, uh, still on the ground, I go in some hip thrusts. Uh, I always feel like a big pop here in your glutes and it feels amazing. Uh, don't quote me on that one, bras. Then I use my hands to prop myself up and just hold this position for a while. Then move on to this angry cat, relaxed cat thing. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but again, I'm just warming up the back. After that, I move on to this rolling movement and I feel a lot of cracking and popping, warms up my back, but also my hamstrings. And by the way, I do about 10 or 15 uh, reps each side, but I'm not gonna show all that. It's, you know, scene one, scene them all sort of thing. Then I go on to the squat routine that I took from Ido Portal. If you want a great routine, just YouTube search Ido Portal squat routine. It's got like hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, I did that like a few times a week, even out of the gym, like before bed and stuff. And uh, my squat form improved dramatically. Would definitely do this frequently, especially those who are stuck sitting at a desk all day. So after all my lower body movements, uh, I actually throw in a set of pull-ups. Uh, this helps me out a lot seeing as you know the bar is going to be on your upper back uh, So want to warm up your whole back uh, try it out guys and let me know how you get on So for today's warm-up, I'm uh, just going to be starting off at 60 kg moving up really slow Doing kind of low reps, but a lot of sets to not wear myself And uh, just getting ready for my working sets. That's what I've been doing the last uh, couple of weeks and it feels awesome Check out them glutes, some hard work right there. But uh, anyways, right, like I said, uh, I've started doing a really long warm up and it helps me so much. Uh, I start off with just the bar to get a, a feel for the bar path that I'm gonna be doing. And then my first warm up set is with plate on each side, which is 60 kg. Uh, but the thing that helped me so much with my squat form and getting a deeper squat is what you're gonna see in a second. Uh, you load the bar with a weight that is not heavy for you, but it will force you down. So that's 60 kg for me. Uh, squat as deep as you can and just stay there. Like a really long pause squat. Just get used to being in that position. Get comfortable with being down there. And doing this regularly, even on non-squat days, has helped me the most with uh, my squatting, no doubt. Uh, also, if you have trouble hitting your depth still after doing this, try narrowing your stance. Still warming up, and uh, when I put on two plates, that's uh, when I put my belt on. Belt is from strengthshop.co.uk. I get asked that every video. Also, guys, I know my form isn't like the best on YouTube, and my squat isn't even near the heaviest, but I'm just giving you some of my tips that has helped me a lot, so please go easy on me in the comment section. My idea of form, if I had to like describe it, 
would probably be like Matt Ogasis. He's actually like one of the first YouTubers I ever subscribed to, ever. And uh, I learned a lot from him about macros, flexible dining, etc. I think him and the Hodge Twins were like the first channels I ever subbed to. But uh, yeah, his squat form is just so perfect. Uh, another thing I've started to focus on this year is my breathing. You can probably see I take a big breath before every squat, brace my core and get tight. And that has made a massive difference to me. So finally at my last warm up set, this is 120 kg. Uh, another thing I should mention is always have your feet together when unloading the bar. So you start off in a stable position. But uh, anyways, my battery ran out this workout, it's such a killer, but I'll leave you with my working set. I did three sets of five, 140 kg, and a few drop sets after that. My knees started to cave on it, as I think my stance is off, but yeah, that's something I need to work on too. But anyways, uh, I hope you like this commentary, and I'll catch you later. Unfortunately, my battery is about to go here, so I'm gonna film one working set. Uh, this video is mainly about my warm-up, and how I work up to my working set. Uh, Canon G7X battery sucks, so I'm gonna film this here, and I'll catch you at home. smashed I uh, just got home there I'm gonna make myself up an absolute bow shake uh, it's gonna be protein milk spinach creatine because yeah I'm not naughty and stuff like that um, some almond butter frozen mango and then some whey protein golden syrup flavor not one of their best flavors wouldn't recommend it but realistically it's gonna taste good with all this stuff here so let's put it together and obviously for maximum gains you want to use your Nutri Ninja like this Mmm, so thick, unreal. Uh, so anyways, right, I hope you liked this video, I hope you learned a little from it. Uh, I'd appreciate actually if you went down in the comment section, you know, give me some feedback of what else you'd like to see. Uh, I got some cool stuff coming up in the future. Uh, I've actually booked to go to Thailand in about two months uh, and I'm also planning LA and Australia, so you know, stay tuned for that. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Until next time, keep it real.